Hello everyone, it's Penny here. Welcome to my channel. This video is in two parts. So the first part, I create a page in my Creating is Joyful art journal. And the second part, I make these cards um, using my jelly prints. So I hope you enjoy and um, let's get started. I thought I would try and finish this page off with a, a little collage and some words that I've cut out from an Edith Holden book actually and just try to make make some sense of them and put them into a into a, a sentence. So I'll do the um, collage first. I just went through my boxes and picked out little bits of pieces that uh, just jumped out at me really. I don't know why, they just did. <laughs> oh actually, you know, I'm looking at that colour, I like that colour. No, no, I'll stick to the one that I originally decided on. It's quite late now, I'm on my way to bed and resist trying to finish this off. I'm using my Elmer's glue. It's also pretty that colour. Little piece of corrugated card. Cut this little fellow out from a card. I just saw the figure there. Just here was this little chappy. That was supposed to be. That's his net there. He's catching fish. I don't ask me why this hat and this rucksack is flying in the air or floating in the sea, but it's there.
it's got some supplies in there that would be very useful for our little chap here. A bag lost at sea. And it's got a bit of twine. And he's been guided by the moon. <laughs> okay, I discovered early the colours were waving away the starlings from the southwest. The silver white fog cleared and wonderful stars burst into rain. I think it kind of makes sense to me. <laughs> sure how far my little little person here can um, sail because he's going to run into some obstacles there. Now, on to part two. before um, I started here I just put some uh, pictures up of the jelly prints that I made in my last two videos in case you didn't see them because what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make some cards with those uh, jelly prints. Um, I had started making a book, a journal with the jelly prints um, but it was a bit of a disaster. I just made one mistake after another. <laughs> so I decided to give up on that. And as I do need some cards, I thought I'm going to make some cards. So I've got all my jelly prints here. They're in a bit of a state because, as I said, I tried to make a journal. Um, I tried to glue the book, it went wrong. I cut all the pages different sizes, I tried to collage on the blank side, that didn't go well, um, so I'm not sure, this one was actually one of my favourites, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use it because of the um, collage on the back, but we'll see.
I finished one of my cards. I hadn't realised I'd turned the camera off. Uh, while I was cutting uh, my jelly prints up, um, I thought, well, there's no point me recording the whole thing, so I turned it off. But then when I started making this card, I forgot to turn the, the camera on. So apologies. <laughs> I embossed a few pieces of thin card with some script and I've got a couple of frame ones. Probably won't use the round frame. Well, maybe I will, I don't know. A square, a oblong shape one and then I've got a kind of vintagey one. Which one of these shall I choose? Maybe I'll go with this one. It's a bit different. That's too thin. These are too thin. Oh, so really, I've just got the blue and one kind of lavender colour one. So that's not going to fit on there, but the blue's okay. I'm trying to use up my supplies because I do have a, a lot that um, you know I don't use. and simple. Kind of need something around the edges, so could try white. And maybe I should put another colour. Kind of a burgundy. Instead of the white. Okay, that's okay, I like that one. So we have two. Yes. Okay, next one. I wonder if I could use the purple lavender card. I've ordered some. Um, no, I don't like that. Ordered some watercolour paper. Actually, I like the blue. And so that I can make some cards with the watercolour paper. I do have some acrylic paper. Maybe I'll try some of that. I'll just do this one. slightly smaller. Do I need 
need embossing paper on this one. like to do is put a little flower on there. I've got a couple of stencils out. I did have a look through my die cuts. I might use some of them. So I've got a bit of acetate here, a bit of white acrylic. Dragonfly there, shall I put that on? There. I don't want to go over the top of these cards, I just want to keep them nice and simple. But I think I could put some splatters on there, couldn't I? Just a tiny bit of black. Put that away. We'll have to wait for that black to dry now. I can't touch it until then. Okay, so I should put that in the window with that and that. Next one, please. I like that one. I might put that one on the blue. Let's just get this a bit. Hmm. I don't think I want to put this one on the blue. I quite like it with that. I'm not sure about the um, <laughs> embossed paper again. Let's try some orange, see if that works. I don't think I like that. I think maybe gather twigs.
bit plain like that, doesn't it? What about if I do some Celtic stenciling underneath? Should I try that? Would it be too much? I don't know. But I'm going to try. Hmm, okay. It's not very tiny. <laughs> No, not this <laughs> That doesn't work. Oh, maybe like that. No, that doesn't work. No, 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 no. I've got red on there now. Okay, so I'll give up on that one. I think I like that better. Yep. That's going to do it. <laughs> I almost forgot about this one that I put on the window to dry. The white flower there isn't showing up enough. I did splatter on the blue to give it a bit of pizzazz. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use the carmine. That, that's one of my new colours. Not sure I like those splatters on there. So
Yeah. So I'm going to put some glue on here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Till the next time, bye for now.